Today I'm gonna to be combining three logos into one super logo using a random logo generator. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then go ahead and give me a subscribe. Also, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far. I cannot believe we just hit 100,000 subscribers. It is truly a dream come true. So I just wanted to say thank you. Now, for this video, I decided to do four super logos, and I mostly used a combination of Photoshop and Illustrator to make them. For the random generator, I use a web Website called Image Picker Wheel, and you actually have to download all the images you want and put them into the wheel to get it to generate. So I put as many logos in it as I could think of and began the process. For each of these logos, I spun the wheel three times. So the first one is the brand I decided to use, the second one is for the font, and the third one is for the style. All right, let's get into it. So for the first one, it looks like we are doing Xbox with the BP font and in the style of Whataburger. So first I found the font, which the internet told me is called Universe 55 Roman. A lot of times you can find free versions of fonts available to use for personal use if you just Google search them. So that's what I did for this one. I downloaded it and added it to my font book and got to work in Illustrator. I typed out Xbox in the Whataburger orange and I knew I was gonna make the X like mirror the Whataburger W, um, but that actually ended up being a lot harder than I initially thought it would. So I used the pen tool and I kept drawing things either like too tall or too thin to actually look like the original. But finally I got down to the right size. So then I duplicated the top and I started stacking them up but I realized that I wanted the X to be kind of more in the middle. So I took those little bird shapes and put two on the top and two on the bottom. And this is how it finally looks. I'm actually really, really proud of how this one turned out. It took a lot of time and patience to get it to look just how I wanted it to, but I think the final result is really cool. This next one is the PlayStation brand in the Nickelodeon font and the style of NASA. So I started by downloading the Nickelodeon font, which I found on defont.com. I needed to get the word NASA out of the NASA logo, so I decided to redraw this little red thing with the pen tool in Photoshop. And I was curious about what this was supposed to be. And I actually found an old NASA patch that kind of had all the same elements of the new one on Wikipedia. And it said the red chevron is supposed to be a wing that represents aeronautics. I don't know if I see it, but sure. I painted away all the letters in blue with the paintbrush tool, fixed up the white loop with the pen tool as well. And I typed out PlayStation in the Nickelodeon font. And I realized that some of the NASA logo was actually under the red thing. So I duplicated the red layer and masked off just a part above the second half of the word. Finally, I decided that the Nickelodeon orange needed to be somewhere within this. So I changed the red thing to be the Nickelodeon orange and here's the final result. I think having that Nickelodeon orange and font in here kind of makes this logo a little more playful. And I could see it kind of on like a patch for a t-shirt for maybe like a kid's space camp or something like that. The next one landed on Dunkin' Donuts in the NASA font this time and the style of the BMW logo. I'm going to be using this new BMW logo that everyone seems to hate. So let me know down in the comments what you think of it. So to start with this one, I made the BMW one a vector by using the image trace panel. This way I could make the shapes, but get rid of the BMW letters. I drew a circle and used this um, kind of as a base to add text onto the shape. And I typed out Duncan in the NASA font, which I found online and it's actually called Space Meatball. To do the word donuts below it, I drew a rectangle and another circle and I used the Pathfinder tool to delete the circle to make a whole new shape. And then I used that shape to add text onto it. There might be an easier way, but that's just how I do it. Once I had that typed out, I played around with the colors to try to change it a bit more. After changing things multiple times, I decided to keep the BMW colors, but grab the coffee cup from the Duncan logo using the image trace tool again and I changed the colors to match the BMW one. And here is the final result. I actually love this one and I could see it being used in the real world. It looks kind of classy and sophisticated. So I could see it being the logo for a coffee shop, maybe in a like a richer town in New England or something like that. And finally, this last one had some more duplicates in it. So we landed on the NASCAR logo in the Ford font in the style of Duncan. I started by finding a dupe of the Ford font online and typed out NAS and car on separate lines to match the Duncan logo. And I also made them the same colors. This looked a little plain, so I decided to grab the part from the NASCAR logo at the front there and add it to the front of this new logo, but changing it to be in the colors of Duncan as well. After playing around with that, I added a white stroke to the font and here's the final result. This one is pretty simple and 
I don't know, I don't love or hate it, but it's hard not to like something in this font because I think it's just a cool font. Well, that's it for today's video. I think my favorite ones have to be the Duncan NASA BMW one and the Xbox BP Whataburger one. But let me know in the comments which one is yours. And as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and like it, share it with your friends and subscribe.